So are you no longer with Navarro technically? Yeah, so technically I'm not with Navarro right now. Okay. Um, can you go back or have you sort of maxed out or? So I technically have one more year because I've done two years and uh, everyone's going back and everyone's like, oh, is she going back? Is she going back? And I'm like, are you going to go back? <laughs> ET exclusive, is she going to go back? Um, I put. She's making comeback. <laughs> <laughs> I put a word in. Uh, I just told Monica. I was like, "Listen, if if anything ever happens, just know I'm I'm here. I'm your backup. If someone gets hurt or if something was to come up, and let's say someone was not able to do it, I would always." But that's the only way you would go back. Someone fake an injury. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's kind of like it's to be. I'm like, I'm not sure. Okay. But yeah, as of right now, I'm, I'm cheering at Top Gun and it's like an hour from my house and it's in Miami and I love it. It's very fun and it's all stars. So we don't go against Navarro, but okay. it's really, really fun. Well, I do want to know. So you will, will not compete at Daytona 2020. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like she's going to go back. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> Just got hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So maybe. It, yes. Uh, are you guys gonna compete at Daytona yes. in 2020? Oh yeah. yeah. We're, here. Yeah. We're, here. We're, We're here. here. We're here. We're here. They're ready. They're ready. Yeah. Okay. Well, kind of walk me through what the rules are because you said you can go for two years, but I think people have questions about how many competitions can you do at Daytona? Can you walk us through just kind of how it works? So. Technically, you have five years to compete on the band shell. Okay. Uh, Do you get multiple associate's degrees then? Like, can you get... Mm -mm. No, mm -mm. okay. Mm -mm. You can just take that long to get one degree. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it. Setting the record straight. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Slowly, like, pace yourself and then... You yeah. Three it's years. kind of crazy, though, like, that you only get five years, because, yeah. like, if you did, let's say, Navarro, and then you went to a university, you have four. So mm -hmm. it should be like six. I it feel like. should. Yeah. It should be six. Yeah. So do you guys see yourselves being at Navarro by the time you're done for a total of five years? I guess you can't really answer that question. Yeah. But no. Will this, this be a, your last year? Yeah, this is it for yeah. me. I gotta, I gotta move it on. It would be everybody's. I gotta move on. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go. I'm sorry. Yeah, it sucks because like uh, it isn't a university and we don't have four or five years. It's only the top is three years yeah. and mm -hmm. it's just crazy because like all of us spent every single day together. When I tell you we are like a family, we literally practice together. We have sleepovers together. We go out to eat together. It's like we're seeing each other all the time and I'm like, Okay, maybe it's too much, too much. But yeah. no, so we really like brothers and sisters. Yeah. How much time we spend together, like Eventually you get sick of each other, but then you fight like brothers and sisters, and then you like, and then make you up love, like brothers, love and, sisters. Like brothers yeah. and sisters. And that showed in the documentary. Mm -hmm. How long do you see yourself at Navarro? I think this is my last year, but I'm not going to speak on that until I know. Until you sure. know. Mm -hmm. They talked about this in the docuseries, about how the life of a cheerleading career isn't like the NFL or the NBA. So what do you guys see next for yourselves? Like, what's the dream? Well, personally, for me, I've always had a huge passion for art, and she I, makes a lot of art. Yeah. I love drawing, I love painting. I just recently got into digital art, and I love design. So, like, no matter what I do, I know that I want to, like, let my creative side show, and I'm not truly going to, I'm not going to settle for a career where I don't get to, like, put my artwork out there. Sure, and you're really good. We saw some of it. Thank you. You're great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Jerry? Um, well, cheerleading is my passion. It has been ever since I was a baby. Um, so I will forever be in the cheer industry. Whether I'm coaching or co being a choreographer or judging, I'm going to be in the cheer world forever. You would be such a good coach. Thank you. Good coach. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, but since the show came out, it's been off, um, a lot of doors have opened and so many opportunities have been thrown my way. So I, I'm going to do my best to seize them. But I always remember where my passion lies, and this was cheer. So.
Okay. Do you think Monica right. will hire you? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. I think so too. Yeah. yeah. So sure. What about for you? Honestly, I feel like what Jerry was saying. There's been a lot of doors that have been opened, and honestly, as long as I'm passionate about it, I I'm down to do whatever and mm -hmm. wherever life takes me. I do love like the movie industry and all the you know actiony things. And I used to talk about wanting to be a stunt double. Oh, I can see you doing that. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's. I know it's like a little dangerous and risky, but like I'm very. Uh, I think I'm very, very courageous, and I think that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would you want a season two? I wouldn't be opposed to. I mean, yeah, okay. it, it, it's a. I think the first season, obviously, I mean, it's a hit, and I think the whole country can agree. I feel like everybody's talking about it, so. Uh, of course, I you know I think a season two would be amazing. I think uh, it's super hard because it's so like the season one is so good. So it's like oh how are we gonna top season right. one? But seriously, mm -hmm. it's we'll see. We'll see. We don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Do you we'll think see. they should ever follow a different school if there was it to be another no, season? No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is young. like if we're gonna be super honest, I have cheered at so many places and I feel like there is nothing like tomorrow. And that is true. There's nothing like it. Yeah. And until you're like actually a part of it, you don't like understand how special it is. Mm -hmm.